New York City is a bustling, vibrant metropolis that never sleeps. Skyscrapers tower above the city streets, creating a striking urban landscape. The city is home to a diverse population of people from all walks of life, resulting in a melting pot of cultures and traditions. Its iconic landmarks attract millions of visitors each year, while its renowned museums, restaurants, and theaters provide a wealth of entertainment and cultural experiences. The American Museum of Natural History here in New York City has long been considered one of the world's premier attractions. This iconic institution provides visitors with an unforgettable journey through history, science, and culture. It's open daily from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. An admission fee varies among museum members, New York residents, and non-residents. The museum has five levels starting from lower level. We entered the museum not from the first floor, but on the second floor. You can purchase your tickets here or you can also purchase them online. And facial coverings are strongly recommended throughout the visit for all visitors ages 2 and up. Two life-size dinosaur skeleton sculptures will welcome you to the museum. The Akeley Hall of African Mammals showcases large mammals of Africa. At the center is a freestanding group of eight elephants, surrounded by 28 habitat dioramas. These provide a unique glimpse of the diverse topography of Africa and its wildlife. Gorillas may weigh as much as 450 pounds, and large males may measure nearly 6 feet tall when standing. Legendary explorer Carl Akeley collected these gorilla specimens in 1921. This diorama depicts the arid habitat of the Libyan desert. Pictured here are the three adects, also known as the white antelope or screw horn antelope. And a scimitar oryx, also known as the Tahara oryx. The Okapi, also known as the forest giraffe or zebra giraffe, is a mammal native to the northeast of the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa. Although the Okapi has stripped markings reminiscent of zebras, it is mostly closely related to the giraffe. Okapis are classified as endangered. The Gemsbach or South African Oryx is a large antelope. It is native to the arid regions of Southern Africa such as the Kalahari Desert. The 
giant sable antelope is the national symbol of Angola. Male and female have horns which can reach 1.5 meters in length and weigh an average of 525 pounds. Greater Kudu is a woodland antelope found throughout eastern and southern Africa. They possess between 4 and 12 vertical white stripes along their torso. It is one of the largest species of antelope with a maximum of 694 pounds and stands up to 63 inches height at the shoulder. This diorama depicts the Serengeti plains of Tanzania, which have long been famed for their huge assemblages of wildlife. The two most abundant species are the blue wildebeest or brindle new and Burchell's zebra. This diorama represents the Upper Nile marshlands in South Sudan. The hippopotamuses, sitatuna, and shubil adapted to these arid areas where water is a part of their daily consumption. The giant eland, also known as Lord Derby's eland and Greater Eland, is an open forest and savanna antelope. The giant eland is the largest species of antelope, with a body length ranging from 220 to 290 centimeters. The bongo is a large, mostly nocturnal, forest-dwelling antelope native to sub-Saharan Africa. Bongos are characterized by a striking reddish-brown coat, black and white markings, white-yellow stripes, and long slightly spiraled horns. Considered the most social of cats, Lions live in pride that consists of one or more males, several females, and cubs. While a male lion consumes an average of 5,500 pounds of meat a year, mostly wildebeest, zebra, and antelopes, females do most of the actual hunting. African lions breed at three and a half years old, 
and the cubs are born spotted at birth. Male lions weigh about 375 pounds, while females average 265 pounds. In captivity, lions have lived up to 25 years, but in the wild, they usually survive only half as long. A herd of African buffalo emerging from the marshes along the Tana River, Kenya, as what this diorama depicts. Other than humans, African buffaloes have few predators and are capable of defending themselves against lions. A favorite among museum visitors, the waterhole diorama teams with wildlife in search of water in the Guaso Nero River Valley in Kenya. You will spot the giraffes, Besa oryx, Grant's gazelle, and Gravy's zebra. We will continue our museum tour on the next video. Guys, I hope you liked the video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get updated on our latest videos. We'll see you on our next video. Thanks for watching.